So this is a really quick walk around of my 2003 Audi A4. Uh, it's B6. Uh, it's got the three liter V6 with a six speed manual transmission. Kind of hard to come by, find these. Uh, Dolphin gray. Uh, I've kind of done some custom stuff. It's got 19 inch uh, RS4 replicas. Um, it's also got S4 door blades, as you guys can see here. It's got a S4 trunk clip for it too, just don't have it installed yet. Um, again, the RS4 uh, replica wheels. I've got a set of uh, tinted out uh, taillights for this that aren't installed. Uh, they come with a car, your choice if you'd like them or not. Um, dual exhaust pipes on it. RS4, again the S4 door blades. Uh, it's got the uh, roof rack on top, Tully roof rack, uh, with dual uh, bike racks on it. <clears throat> uh, the front here you can see, uh, this actually used to be chrome. Um, I plastic dipped it, uh, just one of the mods that we do. Another mod that I've done on this car, uh, on the front here, you can kind of see it's a little bit lower on the front. Um, these were notorious for having the front higher than the back, uh, as you can kind of see the wheel gap there versus the wheel gap on the back. Uh, the front used to be a little bit higher. Um, there's a, a mod that you can do using a B5 S4 spring purchase, um, which I've already done the swap in here to lower the front end a little bit. So. Uh, as I mentioned in my ad, there's a small dent on the hood here somewhere. Uh, it's right here. It's very hard to see. I don't even know if I can reproduce it. I'm trying. Oh, there you can kind of see it in the right there a little bit. It's pretty minute though. Uh, don't really notice it that much. Other than that, the body's in really good shape. Uh, no dents, dings. Um, no major scratches. It's got, you know, your typical front end kind of chips, you know, from highway driving and stuff. Uh, also, the uh, bottom here, um, plastic dipped that as well. That used to be chrome, so that stuff can be taken off if you want the chrome back, but chrome don't get you home. Um, remote fully works. Um, uh, I've had the, uh, uh, the car modded, so you can use the... Um, remote to uh, get in here here's the interior um, it's got the wood grain uh, interiors in really good shape the worst part of the interior is right here um, that's the bolster uh, it's notorious on all Volkswagens Audis um, for that to kind of wear some uh, but other than that, the rest of the leather uh, is no tears, no rips, in really good shape. Um, and you can see the door here, door panel's in really good shape. Clean up my kind of trash there so you can see it better. Uh, Bose Premier Audio in here. A um, little bit of wear along the edges here. Uh, just that rubber kind of plastic coating that they do kind of wears off over time. You can kind of tell right there where it's white on the edges too. Uh, again, nothing major, just more kind of cosmetic than anything. Um, same thing right here on the uh, uh, headlight switch. Um, this headlight switch has uh, independent fog lights as well, which you can run uh, without the headlights. That's a mod that had to be done on it. Um, steering wheel uh, has controls for the stereo system, volume and everything. Um, if you hook up a phone inside, uh, it's got telecommunications where you can hook up a phone. It's got a microphone up here, um, and you can control that as well through the steering wheel. Um, this has a uh, six-disc uh, CD changer um, all within the dash. You actually put all six CDs right into the uh, uh, into the CD changer itself. Um, again, six-speed manual. Gotta love this thing. Uh, uh, Dashboard, absolutely no cracks, scratches, or anything. Uh, my other GoPro, I always run a GoPro when I'm driving. I do have a um, radar detector in here uh, that I have a hardwired cable actually going up uh, into the headliner. Um, this has a full uh, sunroof, 
does both uh, tilt where it cracks just in the back or it fully comes out. Um, it's got OnStar if you ever had a subscription to it. Uh, this right here, I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, it's got a remote for the garage. Um, the ignition has to be on, but you can press that. Psh. So you can see my garage doors opening up. There's my absolutely awesome uh, 63 Volkswagen Bug in there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but... So anyways, that controls the... Uh, you can program it to control your garage door opener. Uh, again, the stereo, uh, both stereo. Yeah, but you always worked hard. Um, uh, this is a dashboard. Uh, it's got the display center console that you know tells you problems or whatever that you might have. Um, again, the mileage just broke 134,000 on it. I am continuing to drive it as I've got it for sale. So um, it's got a cup holder here. Uh, most people don't ever use this cup holder uh, because. Uh, it's, it's a horrible cup holder. As you can see, it's super shallow. Uh, it's more likely to fling your drink than it is to actually use it. So uh, sometimes I'll set my cell phone in there, or if it's a shallow drink, you can put it in there. But um, right here, it's got a little card holder. You can put your business cards or whatever, change. Uh, it has an ashtray. Uh, it's never been smoked in, as far as I know. The previous owner that I bought it from didn't smoke. Uh, he bought it when it had 20,000 miles on it. I don't believe that... Uh, the people before smoked, but I don't know. You can't tell it's smoked. I mean, the interior is in excellent shape, you know, shift boot and everything. Uh, ashtray, I just always keep changing there. Um, this is the cigarette lighter right here. I actually use it just uh, to power my GoPro, so um, that closes up right there. Uh, there's supposedly a little tray that can go in here. Um, uh, the previous owner actually had a cell phone thing coming out here, which I took out of there. Uh, but there's a little tray you can put in there, but um, it's got the armrest. Uh, it does have just junk put in there. You can use that as a cup holder, but it's just kind of an odd place for me, so never have. Um, it's also got uh, a little bit of storage right there. There's a little damage right here. Uh, as you can see, the rubber coating is kind of all wrinkled up. Uh, that right there is basically, I had a thing of suntan lotion sitting in my bag, and the tip of the suntan lotion touched on there and that's what happened so yeah i wonder how good that is for our skin suntan lotion is not good for the rubber coating inside of audis though um, so again here's the whole interior uh, again this seat has absolutely no damage no wear at all no scratches tears anything um, no tears or anything in the uh, headliner um, so again everything is good one thing I will show you, hold on just a second. <clears throat> I'll show that to you in just a second. Here's the back of the car. Uh, again, door panels and everything are in good shape. Um, again, these seats, move my stuff here. Uh, no rips, no tears, nothing in the back at all. Uh, this does have the, uh, the ski. Um, hole so you can poke your skis through there don't know if you can see it's kind of dark out but uh, you, you know if you're a skier you can put your skis all the way through the trunk into here um, so so anyways rear decks nice and clean Bose audio back there is the trunk trunks nice and clean other than I got a bunch of my uh, computer stuff in there but um, it's got a 12 volt pack here for the uh, uh, cigarette lighter uh, it's got clips I actually have the net that ties into all these clips so you can uh, hold stuff down that was like a hundred dollar thing I had to order but um, full spare tire back here 17 not a 19. Um, so as you see that tire right there actually those are the 17 inch sport wheels that originally came with this car. Uh, I do have a set of those with snow tires on them. Snow tires probably could be re maybe run another season but should be replaced at some point but those are included with as well uh, but again no spare 19 inch so.
started right up, no problems. This car has never leaked anything, burned any oil or anything. Uh, absolutely clean inside. Uh, the one thing, a little tray that covers the battery. This was like this when I bought it. I was broke. It's supposed to slide in and snap into place, but I was just leave it sitting right there. So. Again, the independent fogs with the parking lights. Uh, again, that's a mod that has to be done. Normally they only run with headlights on. And then we've got the uh, HID headlights on it. That's with all of them on. All the tail lights, brake lights, turn signals, everything work. Hazards work. Uh, heated mirrors, uh, motorized mirrors. Show you something real quick. Um, so it's got a control down here, right here for the mirrors. You control either side, um, and with those you can control the uh, the mirrors both sides. So you can see that's all through remote, and then it's also got the fold feature where it folds the mirrors actually in, in case you're in a tight parking spot. Honestly, I've never used that feature. <laughs> um, all the windows work. Uh, as you can see, this is the driver's side. Passenger side, it's got the auto down, the auto up. Same with the uh, back windows, auto down, auto up. Auto down, auto up. Uh, again, with this, you can push up on it, just crack the uh, sunroof. Or you can open up the sunroof all the way. So, yeah. All the lights in it work. Uh, the uh, vanity mirror lights turn on when you open up the uh, door. Oh shit handles uh, on all sides. So, there we have it. Uh, 2003 Audi uh, B6 A4 with the 3 liter V6, uh, it's 220 horsepower, uh, it's got the 6 speed uh, manual transmission, um, all the maintenance is current on this car, a uh, previous owner had most of it done before I purchased it. Um, the clutch has not been replaced, however the clutch has no play, no slippage whatsoever, feels great, uh, I don't foresee there being any issues at all with that. Um, the only major maintenance on these cars is the timing belt, as you'll hear with all Audis and Volkswagens, because they have an interference motor. Uh, the timing belt was uh, done. They're uh, scheduled the maintenance on them as every 100,000 miles. Um, it was done, so again, the car's at 134,000 miles, so it still has a long ways to go before that needs to be done. Uh, brakes were done uh, just this past year. Um, so oil change has always changed. Uh, it's been done with the Royal Purple. Uh, every 5,000 miles on it, so full synthetic uh, for the entire life of the car as far as I know it, at least since 20,000 miles. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, let me know. Uh, I love this car. I hate to get rid of it, but uh, unfortunately, I really need a truck. Um, I'm buying a new house. So anyways, thanks.